what's up everybody welcome back to today's video today i'm going to show you how to create this epic sports graphics let's tap into photoshop let me show you how we do it i'm going to click on ctrl and create a new document and i'm going to set a dimension to this i'm going to set a width to 2000 and i'm going to set also the height to 2200 and i'm going to leave the resolution 300 and then leave everything like this click on create the next thing is you want to go to views and you want to go to new guys layout I want to set it to 8, 8, let's set it to 2, and let's set it here to 2, and then let's click on OK. Now, this is going to be quite different from the rest that I've done so far. We're going to learn a few tricks today as well. I'm going to start off with the background, I'll use solid color, and I'm going to use this code for it. It's a reddish color, it's because it's for Manchester United, and they use color red often for the uh, uh, brand, and so we're going to use that. Also, we want to create a new layer, and then you want to pick your brush. And then you want to come to this side you want to click on the color red then you want to pick a lighter color over here click on ok and then just click on the middle remember you're using a soft one brush and then you can ctrl t or transform it and then just a little bit of it is ok go to the blending modes and set it to linear light it gives it a little glowy effect in there i love it and then you also want to go back to the solid color and give it color black Okay, now this is just to give it a little vignette. We're going to go to the fill and we're going to set the fill to 37. All right, now click on the mask. I'm going to show you how to create this mask um, one time. I'm going to be using it often throughout. Now, guys, if I'm going too fast for you, there's a link in the description that shows you a series of videos that will bring you up to speed on how to use the Photoshop fundamentals. Okay, so set here to color black, pick the brush to set it to soft round brush, opacity, and flow 100. Click on this side. And that is how you did it. you do the masking and then just mask the middle there also you want to merge all together so ctrl alt shift and then e to merge everything together like this right click it and convert it to a smart object i want you to go to filter i want you to go to camera raw filter we want to give it a grainy and a, a gritty and a crunchy effect a little bit make it more sharpness so we are going to go to one place one place for it that's the detail and then you want to boost the sharpen up a little bit more maybe 30 is good you want to close it and you also want to go to the grains i think you find it other effects here you have to boost it up a little bit to be on 40 something and then leave it there like that click on okay that's all we want to do to, at that particular point i can see there's some green in there that is epic and that is good now you can put everything in a group and then we're going to call it a background also guys you want to bring in some text in there okay so drag it in there into photoshop okay this is what you're going to be using you want to create a new layer on top of it now you also want to let's call if i let's call it game day one you want to hold control and you want to click on this side you can see it's a dancey ant around it now select this one guys select this one all right control c to copy it nice now control d to deselect it and then you want to hide this one now i want you to click on the game day one that's the first step you want to go to filter and you want to go to vanishing point awesome and then you want to click this side you want to click this side you want to come off and click somewhere around the middle here you want to go up just a little bit like that and if you have it green or bluish like this it means it's good if it's not just tweak it a little bit you're gonna get it now Control V to paste it, and you're going to remember this is selected. You're going to drag it in there, or you can drag this one, drag it in there. Okay, all right. Now, all these slide, all these stuff have their own effect. Okay, this is not enough, so we want to transform it a little bit more. Come and click on this transform, and then just move this one until it touches there, and then move this one until it touches the side. Okay. You want to move this side also as well okay great i think this is okay and click on okay so we have it here nicely now create a new layer again call it game day two nice now i want to go back again and then click on a vanishing point now don't worry about this i want you to pick this one create panel to or create plane tools all right now do this repeat this as team step over here 
click there come and click here come somewhere here go somewhere there and I can see this is red it means it's not really so you just adjust it a little bit and you're going to get it correct I think this is good you also want to paste it Control V to paste it again and then drag it in there again nice and I want you to click on transform and then move that side so it touches there move the other point until you have it touching the end like that if I move this side there and uh, move this side there nice and click on enter so you have both of them there you can see force in the middle of everything nicely 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 put you want to put this in the group and you want to call it game day now you're not going to need this again you can delete it or you can decide to just hide it somewhere i'm going to hide it inside the game day as well now with that done it's time to give the game day a color all right so i'm going to double click it i'm, I'm using the colors or the brand colors of manchester united and so uh, i'm going to click on color overlay and i'm going to give it this color code all right the next thing is you also want to bring in the player itself or the player himself and then just um, you know reduce it a little bit more okay so with this guys you use your own discretion i, I like to sometimes keep the head in the middle of the whole thing but i feel like it's kept a little bit so i'm going to i'm going to use this then i'm also going to give it a new layer and i drag it beneath him and then i'm going to pick my brush to and then make sure my caps lock is off and then i'll pick color black all right over here color black and then just click there once transform it and then reduce let's make it flat okay this is better okay now duplicate it and then this time drag it on top of it okay so and then drag it that way all right so i feel like this is better i'm going to put it in a group and i'm going to call it player so we are done with our player you also want to bring in some few shapes to just make it more interesting so i'm going to bring in this one there okay drag it up more okay now remember we are using the same colors there so the brand colors yes the brand colors and so i'm going to still use the same colors the orange or the creamy color there for him as well and then you also want to bring in the logo let's drag the logo in there and then we use it now control h you want to see the middle of the whole thing keep it in the middle all right click on your text tool and then just type somewhere here and then go and pick the the name of the player bruno fernandez and then place it there now remember brand colors you're going to use the same thing okay and then we are going to use a very uh let's use this one we want it to be very bold and then also we want the tracking to be a lot and so we are going to use 1300 for it really spreads out nicely and then keep it in the middle as usual keep it in the middle maybe drag it down more duplicate it and then bring it down now what's the date of the march the date of the march is may c so we are going to paste it there as well we want to make it all caps but then we also want to make sure it is a little contrasty so let's play with all these stuff we're going to make it light nice and i feel like we are done with it i'm going to put the name what is this one i'm going to put the names text and then this one is icons if you can add more stuff yeah that's also going to be more interesting to make it more epic okay feel free to do that i would now maybe give it a glue effect pick my brush and then um pick come and pick here and then pick um white over here and then make sure caps lock is off it there and then give it linear dodge uh, you want to move it 
in there a bit okay and then i will also give it another one again give it red come and pick the red and pick up her one a little bit and then hit it there and then go there and then hit it linear dodge okay and then i'll give it another one i'll come here come and pick the orange one and then hit it somewhere there and i'll make it linear dodge in fact the orange should i make it green um it's not glowing the way i want it to glow okay so it's not glowing the way i want it to glow so i'm going to delete it and i'll create another one again i'll go this and i'm going to pick upper the upper side of you know more lighter version click there and then make it linear dodge okay uh, let's see screen all right and then let's make it like that and then let's reduce the opacity okay let's reduce the opacity okay so i feel like this is better but let's give it a mask and then let's just mask the hand just the hand interesting there's the hand already okay so i believe we are done with that let's put it all in a group and then let's call it glue let's call it glue oh so you want to merge everything together so let's merge everything together and then let's right click it and then let's call, uh i'm gonna make it a smart object let's go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and apply this exact settings that i'm using you can choose to use your own preferred settings as well it's gonna be okay um i'll move the temperature up all right so now you can see that the texture and then the clarity i really boosted it up together with the contrast okay and then also the sharpen let's go to the details boost the sharpen up more and then you can add any other thing you want to add to it i think this time i'm going to go to distort and then make it a little bit distorted and also perhaps you like to give it a few vignettes also that will also be great so guys this is how you create something like this now if you love this video if you think it's too much and you really want to reduce it just tone down on the um what's it called the sharpening and then also the noise okay now um, this is it for you if you love this video hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel i love you guys remember there are more stuff coming i don't want you to miss it so make sure you hit the subscribe button that way you don't miss out on anything see you in the next video